Hi everybody, Eric Joseph Lewis here, and uh, today I want to talk about one of my all-time favorite wild edibles. Uh, this is the Mighty Bamboo, and um, bamboo is easily one of my favorite wild edibles because it's non-native, it's very uh, rapidly spreading, or at least in the temperate parts of the world, we have predominantly spreading bamboos. There are a few Fargesias and um, perhaps other genera of clumping bamboos that do exist in this part of the world, but they're the exception rather than the rule, and they're so skinny they're more ornamental than edible. Um, but here in the Mid-Atlantic, in particular, we have um, mostly the Phyllostachys genus, uh, at least four species, according to the Maryland Biodiversity Project website, which I highly recommend checking out if you are not tuned into that and you live in the Mid-Atlantic area. The Maryland Biodiversity Project website is incredible. and. Um, on there they have four species listed, so we have Phyllostachys aurea, which uh, I believe is this one here, the golden bamboo, Phyllostachys aureo sulcata, which is the golden groove bamboo, Phyllostachys bambusoides, which is the Japanese timber bamboo, and then uh, Phyllostachys nigra. To my knowledge, all bamboos are edible. Now, that being said, they do also all contain a cyanogenic glycoside known as taxophyllin. And um, this taxophyllin converts into HCN as it oxidizes, which is pretty toxic to human beings. Um, anything beyond 30 milligrams per 100 grams is considered pretty toxic and most bamboo species do have um, levels that high of taxophyllin. Now fortunately for us it is very volatile and does degrade rapidly with heat. So um, what we want to do with the bamboo is to harvest the young tender shoots like this one here. You can just snap them right off from the ground. So we harvest these young tender shoots and uh, then fill up a pot with them and bring it to a boil. The higher the temperature we can bring it to, the more rapidly the taxophyllin degrades. And um, the longer that we cook it, the more completely the taxophyllin degrades. Uh, one study on Bambusa genus bamboos in particular found that after 25 minutes, at uh, 98 degrees centigrade, so that's almost boiling, just below boiling, a low simmer, I would say. Um, they found that taxophyllum was more than 90% removed at 99 degrees for 25 minutes. Some species, however, have higher content of taxophyllin and need to be boiled much longer. To be on the safe side, I recommend going for a minimum of an hour. Um, and there are kits that can be purchased online specifically to test cyanogenic glycoside content in foods like flax seed meal, cassava, um, and in this case, bamboo. Um, bamboo is very high in mineral content. It's an excellent source of potassium, um, and as well, it's an excellent source of silica, which are both excellent uh, trace minerals, potassium in particular, we need a lot of. And um, yeah, being that it's an exotic that spreads so aggressively, it's one that we can't eat too much of. So go ahead and find yourself a patch of bamboo and start harvesting bamboo shoots for yourself today. Um, one way of preserving them that I have thoroughly enjoyed, my friend uh, Julie Beardrisky, she boils it and then pickles it with carrots and onions and asparagus and all kinds of other great veggies. And in that way, you can keep large amounts for long periods of time. And um, you can also can bamboo shoots. That's another great way of keeping them for long term. 
or you can boil them and then freeze them. And uh, you boil them, chop them up, freeze them, and then you can add them into stir fries or baked dishes or whatever you like. Once the taxophyllin is removed, uh, you can even dehydrate them and then reconstitute them into soups and things like that. Taxophyllin does have a, a pretty bitter taste to it and so it can be detected with the tongue and um, I would say just be sure to boil thoroughly and if you taste any hint of bitterness, boil some more. Um, so that about wraps it up for bamboo and in this case we'll say Phyllostachys aurea, the golden bamboo. Happy hunting y'all. Peace.